so every film has its own uh, challenges um but overall i think there is a perception that the the film industry is all glamorous and it's easy and it's uh and uh, you know i think a lot of people feel like people in the industry are very privileged um but that's not true uh, there's a lot of hard work and commitment and and dedication and sacrifices that go into being who we are or achieving what we do um it's very easy to you know buy a ticket and sit in a theater and watch a movie for two and a half hours and be entertained or not and that's that's totally fair but there's a lot of hard work that goes into making that possible which i think only people who are related in the film industry in some way will know uh, the, the full extent of that believe you know things will always not go your way there will be times where things will be uh, difficult there'll be times when you want things to be a certain way and they don't go that way um but i think through the years i think the one thing that i've learned is to be patient and and to really believe in yourself i mean you can have you know uh, amazing people around you telling you different things uh, some people really believe in your vision and some people won't some people will also discourage you and say you know what are you sure you want to do this are you sure you want to wait are you you know why don't you try something else or do something else I think it's important to to be I mean at least I fortunately had a lot of clarity about what I wanted to do with my life and for myself and um you know I've been very patient through all of it and I'm not someone I don't give up easily I'm yeah. extremely ambitious um yeah. I know exactly what I want what I want to achieve for myself the kind of films I want to do the kind of people that I want to work with and that will always be mm. an ongoing process since childhood i've always known what i wanted okay. to do uh, today i'm living that dream mm. um but i always say i'm not satisfied i'm not fully satisfied and i don't ever want to be mm. i want that hunger i want that motivation to keep me going yeah. do i appreciate and admire a lot of actresses around me and uh, people who've been around me before of course i do in the way in the film in few films that they've done or in the performances that they've given or in the way that they've conducted themselves um of course i i i admire them but i do not want my career to be like anyone else's but my own uh because that's it's a very very personal uh thing and and something that i like somebody else may not like so it cannot be even if even if i want it to be it cannot be um and i want to be remembered um for my own individual sense of everything whether it's style whether it's films whether it's career graph whether it's uh you know values that you stick by it has to be your own i do what i do i do what i love the money happens to come um it means nothing you know and i i know so many people and I, my own experiences yeah you can have everything in the world but if you are not happy mm. there's you can do nothing with it and it really means nothing so for me if it's there it's there if it's not there it's not there um it doesn't matter for me quality time with my with my family uh you know going on family vacation spending quality time with them at home cooking a meal in my kitchen uh spending time with my friends uh being creatively satisfied with a with a film or with a part uh being challenged in you know in that in that sense right. uh, going up on stage receiving a film fair award these are the things that i really really value this makes absolutely no difference